Candidates in this election are eligible for presidential candidate broadcast. This is the second of two programs. Each candidate is allocated a maximum of 10 minutes. The order of the first presidential candidate broadcast was determined by the alphabetical order of the names as reflected in the electoral roll. This order is reversed for the second presidential candidate broadcast tonight. The candidates are Mr. Tan Kin Lien, Dr. Tony Tan King Yang, Mr. Tan Ji Se, and Dr. Tan Cheng Bok. We begin with Mr. Tan Kin Lien. My fellow Singaporeans, a very good evening. My name is Tan Kin Lien. I'm standing for election as President of Singapore. My vision is to improve life for all Singaporeans. In recent years, Singaporeans have found life to be more difficult. You face strong competition for jobs, higher cost of living, and have to travel in crowded public transport. You have to work long hours and live a stressful life. Is this the life that you want? At this election, you can choose a president who can make life better for you. You have four candidates to choose from. Candidate A is a good doctor, but is not an expert in financial matters. Many people are worried that he does not have the financial knowledge to make the right decisions to safeguard our reserves. Candidate B stood in the recent general election under an opposition party. He wants to act as a check and balance on the government. Many people are worried that he is confrontational and cannot work with the government. Candidate C has been a government minister for more than 20 years. He was involved in the policies of the government that have contributed to the situation today. Many people are worried that he cannot act independently of the government to improve the situation for you. I am candidate D, Tan Kin Lian. I had 30 years of experience in managing a large insurance company, looking after the savings of over 1 million people and assets of $17 billion. You may remember me as the former chief executive of NTUC Income. Among my international experience, I had served on the board of a large international organization, the Cooperative and Mutual Insurance Federation, for more than 15 years and was elected as its chairman for five years. I was the first and only Asian to be elected as chairman of this large international body. I had met people from different countries and cultures. With this experience, I can represent our country internationally. As you know, I have never contested in any general election as a candidate of a political party. I am neutral and non-partisan. I will be able to independently carry out the duties of the president, particularly in exercising the duties under the Constitution to prevent abuse of power and corruption. To help me in my task to be the voice of the people, I will form a president's personal council to help me keep in touch with the people and to hear your views. 
your concerns and aspirations. I will be your voice to bring these issues to the government and will work constructively with the government to find better solutions for all Singaporeans. During the global financial crisis in 2008, more than 10,000 people lost their life savings in the mini bond and other similar investments following the collapse of Lehman Brothers. Many were misled into investing in these risky investments. Some of you, all your parents or friends, might have been directly affected by the loss. During this most difficult time, I rallied a few friends to help these investors. We presented four petitions to the government and spoke on the issue several times at Hong Lim Park. Nobody else spoke out for them. Neither the other three candidates nor the government. In a future crisis, when you face grave difficulties, you need someone stronger to speak for you. If you elect me as your president, I can speak out strongly for you. To the young people of Singapore, there is hope for a better future for you and your family. You have studied hard and are prepared to work hard. You want to get a suitable job that pays well, sufficient to meet the cost of living, to raise a family, to pay for your flat, and to save for retirement. You also want to have quality time with your family and friends. This future is possible for you if you have the right leaders, leaders who believe in honesty, fairness, positive attitude, courage, and public service. These are my personal values which I will bring to the office of the President. These are the values shared by many Singaporeans. I am standing for election as a public duty. If I am president, I will donate at least half of the salary